frustrated House Democrats have issued a subpoena for those six years of President Trump's tax returns. It's the latest escalation in a standoff between the president and Congress, and again this time. The administration is refusing congressional demands. The subpoena comes from House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Richie Neal. In April, Neal asked for the document citing a 95-year-old law that says the committee chair can request the returns of any American. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin refused. Now the subpoena is directed at Mnuchin and the IRS commissioner. But even now, they're not expected to hand those documents over, and the battle is likely to end up in court. Peter Chanel. And Vic, also overnight, we learned that after the Mueller report's release, White House officials pressed one of its star witnesses to push back on the idea that the president obstructed justice. What more do we know? Well, that's right, Peter. I know you've been doing some reporting on this as well. President Trump tried to get the former White House counsel, Donald McCann, to issue a public statement last month that he didn't believe the president was trying to obstruct justice when he sought to influence the Russia investigation, a request McCann declined. Remember, according to the Mueller report, Mr. Trump twice called McCann at home and asked him to get Robert Mueller fired, but McCann wouldn't do it. During the Mueller investigation, McCann had reportedly told the investigators that he did not think Trump's actions rose to the level of obstruction of justice. And as the White House prepared for the public release of Mueller's report last month, they sought for McCann to issue a statement, making public what he had told Mueller's team. In a statement, McCann's lawyer says, quote, we did not perceive it as any kind of threat or something sinister. It was a request, professionally and cordially made. Meanwhile, House Judiciary Committee Jerry Nadler has threatened to hold McGahn in contempt of Congress if he doesn't comply with demands for congressional testimony. Peter Chanel. Mike Vicara at the White House for us again today. Vic, thank you.